So this is uh, pretty much just a basic tutorial on like reverse engineering odd shaped parts. And this is, while this might not be an odd shaped part, just uh, getting this whole pattern correct, it, it's not super symmetrical. So um, one thing what I do is you can measure, you obviously want to get your, your measurement for your hole centers or your hole dimension your whole diameter. So this is 266, and I'm always gonna to try to get the biggest number I can, 268. So I'm gonna say that's a 268. So let's say I want to get this uh, center to center spacing. So I'd measure, measure right on the edge of the hole to the edge of the hole. So it'd be 1.951. 1 and then because we have half a hole here and half a hole here, we're gonna add 0.268, so one point. 951 plus 0.268. So essentially this is our center to center spacing. And I mean, usually what I try to look for is things round up to a, an odd, uh, an even number, whether it's metric or imperially. Sometimes both hole centers can be an odd thing because someone might just want to do an equal spacing and it ends up what it ends up. But a lot of the times I, like I'm looking for clues to if this is uh what if this is imperial or metric one thing that throws that that tells me that is it's a uh, 2.68 so it's clearance for quarter inch so that would tell me that these would be an 82 degree countersink rather than a 90 degree where it's metric and i'm also looking for round imperial numbers now sometimes you lose that when things have been messed around with a lot so i mean even though this is a round number i might divide it by Zero three nine three seven. So like that's fifty six millimeters, fifty six point three millimeters. So that's usually I'm gonna say that's not the case. And and for this, for the sake of this, um, I'm just gonna use that number that I calculated. So now I'm gonna compare it with all of these. Okay. So one thing I'm gonna do to compare that number that I got right here is I'm gonna measure across. Uh, several of them the widest the longest amount and six three six eight so six point three six eight plus or plus point two six eight divided by three because there's three spaces in here so you can see that that pretty much confirms our number within a couple thou. So I mean that that gives me confidence to use that uh, uh, because you if if it, if we were out let's say ten thou here, ten thou here, ten thou here, we'd be out thirty thou, not you know a couple thou. And now I'm gonna reference it off the center. Now this isn't perfectly machine symmetrical, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reference the whole center holes of these off the center of the of the plate which would be the center of the opening and i'm going to reverse engineer it symmetrically okay so like i said um that's how i do that now uh something let's say like this radius if you don't have radius gauges you can get let's say end mills or um you know and find something that fits in there you know this this was a quarter inch so again if someone's going to machine this unless it's specialty it might just be the it might just be a nominal number. So that's one thing there. Um, the other side of that is uh, referencing odd dimensions, let's say with these holes. So again, we're gonna do the, the math here, but we're just gonna add half that hole thickness there. And then we can compare it right here. So that's 608, 608. So that's not quite exact, but what what I'm thinking is a lot of this isn't super symmetrical and I'm going to draw it in a symmetrical way because um, let's say 7570 so essentially let's say we're 10 thou out on either side or 15 thou out on either side which is fairly reasonable I don't think it's going to affect what this is I think this is a really old machine and it's been messed around with a lot so what we're going to try to do is kind of re-square everything and, and create some, some tolerances. So now what I've done is I've drawn this on Fusion 360 uh, with, with that math that I've completed. And now what I've done is I've printed off a one-to-one. -one. And, and what you wanna do is uh, use your largest dimension here and just double check that with a scale. So to make sure, okay.
So, you know, this, this, would, this would tell you if you're, you know, 50 thou off. So it's not a bad idea to do this. This won't tell you if you're 5 thou off. So then I'm just going to lay my part on here. And it's going to... So you can see the radius looks pretty good. Even these whole centers. Now what we could do is we could put a, a center mark in there, like a cross hatch to just compare. You can see right here, this one looks good, but this one's a bit off. So I might just go with the, the, the larger number and make it, make it symmetrical, right? But uh, for the most part, that's that's how you draw, let's say an odd shape pattern. You, you'd print it out one to one. If the piece is too big for, let's say printing it out, uh, odd times are you can water jet it, um, plasma cut it, or use that as a template. You can print off a bunch of one-to-ones and tape it together and that should get you uh, fairly close. So again, understanding where things are going is, is the biggest thing to make assumptions um, because someone doesn't want this part, they want what this part does. And uh, this is a, a cutter here. So again, understand what it's doing, what, what matters. Uh, this is the cutting edge, obviously, so it's not really going to matter if there's a bit of a countersink cut into this hole. But uh, again, um, that's uh, that's an easy thing to do. And if you were, let's say, machining this, and maybe it's not a bad idea to cut this out and tape it on top uh, while you're not even tape it off, double side uh, tape or spray adhesive it onto your uh, your piece, and and you're going to get your cross hatches. And you're not like I said, you're not going to see when you're five thou out but odds are you're gonna be 50 thou or 100 thou or one inch. So um, that's kind of a, another little tip you can do.